Cassio, I will have my lord and you again as friendly as you were. Michael Cassio is never anything but your true servant. I know it. I thank you. You do love my lord. Aye, but lady, I being absent and my place supplied, my general will forget my love and servant. Madame, I take my leave. I am ill at ease and not fit for mine own suit. Was that Cass Cassio parted from my wife? Cassio, my lord? No. Sure I cannot think that he would steal away so guilty-like seeing you coming. I do believe t'was he. How now, my lord? I have been talking with your lieutenant, Cassio. Went he hence now? Yes, faith, good love, call him back. Not now, sweet Desdemone, some other time. But shall it be shortly? The sooner, sweet, for you. Shall it be tonight at supper? No, not tonight. Tomorrow at dinner, then? I shall not dine at home. <laughs> well, then tomorrow night or Tuesday morning? On Tuesday noon or night or Wednesday morning? Try thee no more. Let him come when he will. I will deny thee nothing. Whereon I do beseech thee leave me but a little to myself. Farewell, my lord. Farewell, my Desdemona. I'll come to thee straight. Did Michael Cassio, when you wooed my lady, know of your love? He did from first to last. Why dost thou ask? I did not think he had been acquainted with her. Oh, yes, and went between us very oft. I dare be sworn I think that he is honest. I think so, too. Men should be what they seem, or those that be not, would they might seem none. Certain men should be what they seem. Why then, I think Cassio's an honest man. Good name in man and woman, dear my lord, is the immediate jewel of, this, of their souls. By heaven, I know thy thoughts. Oh, beware, my lord, of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on. That cuckold lives in bliss, who certain of his fate loves not his wronger, but, oh, what damned minutes tells her o'er who dotes, yet doubts, suspects, yet strongly loves. Thinkest thou I'd make a life of jealousy to follow still in the changes of the moon with fresh suspicions? No. To be once in doubt is once to be resolved. Tis not to make me jealous to say my wife is fair, feeds well, and loves company, for she had eyes and chose me. No, Iago, I'll see before I doubt, when I doubt, prove, and on the proof there is nothing more but this away at once with love or jealousy. Er. I see this hath little dashed your spirits. Not a jot, not a jot. No, not much moved. I do not think but Desdemona's honest. Long live she so, and long live you to think so. My lord, I take my leave. Look where she comes. How now, my dear Athella? Your dinner and the generous islanders by you invited do attend your presence. I am to blame. Why do you speak so faintly? Are you not well? I have a pain, a pain upon my forehead here. Faith, that's what's watching. Twill away again. Let me but bind it hard. Within this hour it will be well. Your napkin is too little. Let it alone. I am very sorry that you're not well. I am glad I have found this napkin. This was her first remembrance from the spark. My wayward husband half a hundred times wooed me to steal it. How now? What do you here alone? Do you not chide? I have a thing for you. <laughs> it is a common thing. Huh? To have a foolish wife. <laughs> oh, is that all? What will it give me now for the same handkerchief? What handkerchief? What handkerchief? Why, the spork first gave to Desdemona. You hast stolen it from her? No, Faith. She let it drop by negligence. And to the advantage I being here took it up. Look, here it is. Poor lady, she'll run mad when she'll lack it. Be not unknown on it. I have use for it. Go, leave me. I will in Cassio's lodging lose this napkin, and let him find it. Trifles light as air are to be are to the jealous confirmation strong. Ha ha, false to me. How now, my lord? One sense I had of her stolen hours of lust. I saw not, thought it not, it harmed not me. I slept the night well, fed well, was freed and merry. I found not Cassio's kisses on her lips. He that is robbed, not wanting what is stolen, let him not know it, and he's not robbed at all. Is it possible, my lord? Villain, be sure thou prove my love a whore. Be sure of it. Give me the ocular proof, or by the worth of mine eternal soul, thou hadst been better had been born a dog than answer my wicked wrath. Oh, Grace! Oh, heaven forgive me. I see you are eaten up with passion. 
I do repent, but yet I say, if imputation and strong circumstances which lead directly to the door of truth will give you satisfaction, you might have it. Give me a living reason she's disloyal. She may be honest yet. Tell me but this. Have you sometimes seen a handkerchief spotted with strawberries in your wife's hand? I gave her such a one. T'was my first gift. I know not that. But such a handkerchief, I am sure it was your wife's, did I today see Cassia wipe his beard with? If it be that... If it be that, or any that was hers, it speaks against her with the other proofs. I see, tis true. Look here, Iago, all my fond love, thus do I blow to heaven, tis gone. Arise, black vengeance, from the hollow hell. Patience, I say, your mind perhaps may change. My bloody thoughts with violent rage shall ne'er look back, ne'er ebb to humble love, till that a capable and wide revenge swallow them up. Now by yon marble heaven, in the due reverence of a sacred vow, I here engage my words. I greet, thy, <clears throat> I greet thy love not with vain thanks, but with acceptance bounteous, and will upon the instant put thee to it. Within these three days let me hear thee say that Cassio's not alive. My friend is dead. Tis done at your request. But let her live. Damn her, lewd minx. Oh, damn her, damn her. Come, go with me apart. I will withdraw to finish me with some swift means of death for the fair devil. Now art thou my lieutenant. I am your own forever. Come so much,